What's up dudes and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are officially playing Rise of Nations for the seventh time in history. This actually took a long time, actually, so this is my first time I'm playing Rise of Nations in 2023. So, this is a pretty big achievement for me. Mostly, we just pick random countries, whether it's average, like... I just love average nations, like I pick South Korea, I'll pick that, like Nigeria, DRC, South Africa, or even United States, if I get lucky enough. But, let's just say we'll pick random countries, and hopefully it's medium-sized, so that we would have enough power to invade much big, bigger nations than us. Yep, let's just do this anyways. We pick random country. And I got lucky by picking the Democratic Republic of the Congo. So why don't I just... Why don't I just turn down the volume for a bit? Just so you know. There he goes. I just turned down the volume. You can tell that I got lucky, by the way. So why don't we invade our first... Official nation, the Republic of the Congo. Let's just get this ready for it. There we go. Or I can just simply just mute it. Or I can have it like, like this. I like it since it's simply just, just mostly finding myself in peace and quiet while other nations go at war like Italy, France, Germany, UK, Russia, or even Turkey would go in war. But there's not a lot of people here. There's like Russia, France, and Mexico, Turkey, Ireland, Germany, Japan, and Iceland. Not that much, isn't it? So, our goal here is to unite the people of Latin Africa, which includes Angola, Republic of Congo, Gabon, Sao Tome and Principe, Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, the Rwanda, Burundi, and Angola. That's a lot. But all I have to do is to Split our troops in half as fast as possible so that we would get enough units for one war. That didn't go so well. Why don't we just go to Bobolo and Mangloi, which are two tiny towns in the DRC. Just for perspectives, we're gonna take our troops there and split them in half. Really, we are. This is good terrain, to say the least. Two more units left, and there it, there it goes. Now all we have to do is get two units of our area in here. It's so like, the two units can attack that, while the other units can attack that. But from now on, we'll just use the way to sound. There we go, we have enough there. We do have a lot, or enough there. And we just put the troops right there, so that we will get ready for the all-time invasion. But now there's a lot in here like Spain, Iran, Mexico, Mexico already joined, USA, Chile just joined, and Serbia, and that's basically it. But let's just declare war on the Republic of Congo since it's basically the same thing. There it goes. We have officially attacked our first town here they will respond yep they did 
they did respond to it. Now we are gonna officially do this for a time being. So auto capture, Republic of the Congo. There it goes, that's what we're talking about. Alright, why don't I just do act deactivate this thing cause probably think I'm like telling them what the secret is, but that's just me though. Russia form an alliance with Chan, Japan, Chile form an alliance with Mexico, common. So once I need to ally something, I just pull it up and just ally them. Like if I need a big ally to like protect me, which is nearby me, then I'll do that. Wonder if South Africa is a player, and they're not. It's a good thing since I can expand South and North Africa. My goal here is pretty much unite Southern Africa. That's basically my goal. Here goes Brazzaville has been officially been slaughtered by the DRC or captured by the DRC if you want to say it that way. But there goes and we had just done it. Mostly just find this entertaining. There goes Gabon is now our next nation to conquer. Luckily, we have enough manpower to, like, give ourselves to our army because we're pretty much a huge country. We're huge. What's the difference between a huge country and a large country? A huge country is, um, this. Like, a huge country is this and a large country this. It's basically the same thing, so try it out, basically. And we have to split our units to have because of the Equatorial Guinea, but we'll just split them once we go to Rwanda and Burundi. Then we'll put up troops again once we hit Angola. Because that's pretty much our goal here. Waiting patiently towards December 24th of 2019, Christmas Eve of 2019. So it's basically Christmas in Gabon, but war time. Ooh, interesting. It served ties with the United States and served ties with Chile and Mexico served ties with Germany. A new fraction known as the Democratic Nations has been formed. I mean, I should join it. I should join it. I'm. Yeah, I shouldn't join it because democracy. I said before. I said before, in hands, that democracy is one of the worst nations to be an ideology to play. Just saying, like, once you're democracy, then everything starts out good. But once you declare war on a second nation on the same time, then it goes bad. Like low stability, unrest, all that stuff and etc. Like for example, USA could collapse any moment. Just saying, it can, it can collapse at any moment. Like right now, it can happen. While in the invasion, why don't we just sit there and wait? There it goes. My alarm went off for chores, which I have to do later. Yeah, I have to do it later. It's me. It's me. I have chores. I know how this thing goes. Come on. There it goes. I just put it to one there it goes one is good one is good
there it goes. War reparations has been made from the Republic of Congo. One that will declare war on Equatorial Guinea and Sao Tome in the Prince of Bay. There it goes. There it goes, and it has officially collapsed. Now put our troops together once again, or I, one of our units can attack Sao Tome and Principe, like this 160,000 troop unit to Sao Tome, while rest of the units can attack Equatorial Guinea. Oh, let's see. June 24th, 2020. We have to put our troops again once we invade Cameroon because it has a lot of stuff. Like, it has a lot of stuff. Huge size, huge population, etc. Including terrain. Terrain's one of things. Biomes, they have jungle. And this, which is hilly and semi mountain. Basically, one of the hardest to go through, especially when it's in Iran. Like, trying to invade Iran is challenging. Because, let's just open up terrain for real quick. Yeah, there's the terrain of Iran. It has really good terrain, like hilly, arid, and arid semi mountains, and there's mountains and arid which basically one thing you have to go through is mountains semi mountains and hilly and all of all arid but some parts of Iran does not have terrain but it does have a lot of terrain especially the northern part towards Ar Armenia Turkey and Azerbaijan yeah, Turkey is growing. Not too concerned about it since it's far away from me. Equatorial Guinea took too long for this to happen, but we made it. There goes Sao Tome and Prince of A. It has officially collapsed. I'm my rule <laughs> sorry that was a little evil laugh impression I tried to do that many times before I tried go on next nation to conquer is Cameroon and then the next nation Central African Republic Chad and then we would invade Rwanda and Burundi then we'll just take over Angola and once I form one empire the video would end no expansion nothing and Equatorial Guinea has officially collapsed let's go sign the treaty time to put our troops near the border of of Cameroon let's do this wow Nat will set another unit of troops 
right around here. 17 units? Fair enough. Why don't we put our infantry in it so that everything is stable right now? And we'll focus on the Central African Republic. Put our troops again. There we go. Justified. First of all, our first target is the capital. Yaudon. So you know why I'm recording this until the video ends, so this is the first time I am playing Rise of Nations since of this year because, you know, once I tried to play in Rise of Nations on like January, it got a little glitchy and I had to get a better PC so that it can stabilize itself. Now it has a better PC. Mostly of all, we just do a little test run so that everything sounds is good. It's good. Look, we have 14 units over there. While they attack Chad, it will attack. While they attack Cameroon, will attack. Central African Republic. That's basically our target here. Oh, Zongo has been lost. Not a big deal since we're gonna retake it in a couple of minutes. Or in a couple of seconds, I suppose. That's what we're talking about. Central African Republic, let's go. We'll basically get ready for Rwanda and Burundi. Declare war on Chad. Win, win. I think I d needs to do what's best. There we go. Now we put our troops near the Rwandan border. And put our troops near the Chadian border. Since due to fact Chad is huge, well, while Chad's being attacked, we'll attack Rwanda and Burundi for them. Since those units will go in Angola. 
All right, let's do this once and for all. And Chad's city has a million people. What a coincidence. There goes the capital. Attack Rwanda. Good unit spot. Good unit spot. There goes Rwanda. I think I need to do what's best. Select cities and annex. We have signed a successful peace treaty with them, meaning we have to go to to Burundi. And we have to do that again since our units are quite slow. Just saying. There it goes. Now the capital has been captured. A national monument. Too much money, I say. Too much money. Let's just focus on Burundi and Angola. The power and the blood and the strength is mainly what we're focused on. Now there's only two nations left to fall. Once we form it, the video's over. War reparations, not enough, man. Not enough. Let's see how many empires are formed. Oh, none. No empire's been formed. Well, I guess I'll be the first first empire to be formed majorly and pretty much collapse easily. Basically doing it like quick solving mysteries. Like forming empires in a public server. That's a big achievement since there's a lot of threats come over it. And of course, economies. So all you have to do is to attack Burundi and justify war and on Angola and set our troops right here, like in this town called Casula Lunda. Lunda is the capital yeah it's the capital of angola and there's costume go costume and go humble costume and go um, yeah we'll set our troops near the border
We can just declare war, that's the only thing, or the only intention. They have attacked in our land and our blood and soil. Let's take them back. Let's take it back. Huge battle. Huge Empire Stone Collapse. That's our thing. Yep, Qing Dynasty still exists. I'm too concerned of that. I'm pretty much... Impressive. Since due to the fact that Soviet Union is getting reformed, or not, since Iran and China pretty much ruined the whole thing, except for Kazakhstan and Europe, is it is Sweden the player? Let me look. Nope. Not at all. Oh well, let me try that again. There we go. Now show up troops in that city right there, in that city right there, right. Right there in the screen. Right there in the screen. And Angola is our last nation to fall under my great empire called Latin Africa. See, Germany's going wild and Italy is not going wild right now. Japan, a little bit wild after they took Korea. Yeah, I don't know why that. Germany, Italy, and Japan are the most, are the most, um, not good alliances because of World War II. Waiting. Waiting. It's June 10th, 2022. Going our troops right there. And once they arrive, we'll attack. We'll attack. It's being a little slow again. It's a little being slow. A little slow. But it's back up once again. There it goes. Oh, it's being slow because of the terrain that they're on. Jungle. Oh, biomes in my jungle. Jungle is one biome is a threat, but we're used to this. Like it covers most of our area. And let's go and attack. Attack the first city, Yugi. Shoot, which is um, unrest, civil unrest. Calm down, folks. All right, while the invasion of Angola, let's just think about all of the world for a second. There's Greenland, America, which used it used to be a player, I don't think so. And the Ottoman Empire is formed. Beautiful. And there's Mexico, Central America, or 
there's South America, Chile's the most dominant, that's beautiful. And there's Spain, Germany, Ukraine, which is collapsed, Russia, oh shoot, Russia is collapsing right now. And there's Turkey, which is the Ottoman Empire, hold on. It's a little laggy screen, but I don't think so. And major death alert, major death alert. Send our units to the capital immediately as fast as possible. We are doing it as fast as possible as we can. Alright, 8,000 troops to unit right now. Alright, let's do this, by the way. Let's do this. Alright. Unit in Angola. I think I should do what's best. I think I should do what's best. Check in to see if anything... Finally, after two... After long years, we have done it! We have done it! Our beauty is finally completed. Woo! Alright, that was our first empire we formed in our first video of 2023. So, thank you for watching this video. Hope you have an amazing day, a great day, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye!